In this screencast, I'll discuss how MATLAB handles strings. Strings are sets of characters that can represent any textual information. MATLAB represents string values by characters enclosed by apostrophes. For example, this is a string and note the apostrophes. I'll discuss some basic MATLAB functions like strcat and strrep for handling strings and um, functions fprintf and sprintf to create formatted uh, output. For example, suppose we have the following two strings, uh, string 1 and string 2, uh, with the values UCI and uh, UCLA. These strings internally are represented by this class uh, char, for short for character, and note the uh, sizes of these strings, which basically indicates the number of characters uh, for these uh, strings. We can combine strings into larger strings uh, by using the strcat function. So I'm giving two arguments here, string 1, string 2, and the result of this is a larger string that basically concatenates to st two strings. Another method for concatenating strings is by using the square brackets. So I can say string 3 equals to uh, string 1 followed by, let's say, a space to separate the two strings, and this gives the following result. MATLAB can use the square brackets because strings are internally represented as vectors, specifically row vectors, that contain the numeric values that represent each individual character. If you'd like to see how MATLAB represents strings internally, you can use the double function to convert the strings to the uh, double precision numbers. So the string 1 has three characters, U, C, and I, and those letters internally are represented by the values 85, 67, and 73. Those are the uh, so-called ASCII characters. And I can use the char uh, function to convert the internal sort of numbers here, 85, 67, 73, uh, back to a string, and I get the uh, string UCI back. There are a lot of useful MATLAB functions for manipulating and parsing strings. And I advise you to look into the MATLAB documentation uh, to browse the various functions that are available. So one useful function is the strrep function. And this allows you to uh, replace uh, an occurrence of a, of a substring with a new substring. Important functions for handling strings are fprintf and s printf. And these allow you to create formatted strings where you can specify exactly how text and numeric values are combined. So suppose I have a variable n, which is assigned a value 120. I can create formatted output as follows using this fprintf command. So the result of this is that I have a formatted string. The value of n is 120. Now the instruction that I gave to MATLAB is to print a string between these apostrophes, the value of n is. Now this percent %d notation is a placeholder. It tells MATLAB to replace this by the value of the variable that follows. The percent %d specifically tells MATLAB to format it as an integer, so no fractional values. I can also use the percent %f notation, and now I tell MATLAB to format the number in n as a floating point, so with uh, fractional values. I can also tell MATLAB how the floating point number should appear. The 7 is the number of characters total to represent a number, and the 2 is the number of digits to represent the fractional value. So the fprintf function creates formatted output for the screen. I can also use the sprintf function to create formatted output that can be assigned to another string. For example, so suppose I have uh, a variable id, which is the person's id, and now I want to create a new string that combines the string person with the value of that ID. 
Now, instead of using f print f, I now use s print f so that the result of this formatted string is now assigned to this variable. Finally, it's useful to know about uh, special formatting characters in MATLAB, such as tabs and new lines. For example, if I have the following variables, a is 1, b is equals 2, c equals 3, and d equals 4. Now I can use the fprintf command with special characters to include tabs and, and new lines and other, and other special things. This uh, backslash t uh, tells MATLAB to create a tab. The backslash n tells MATLAB to create a new line between the uh, formatted values. So if I enter this expression, I get the formatted output 1, 2, 3, 4. Note that tabs are between 1 and 2 and between 3 and 4. That's because of this and this special character. And I have a new line between 2 and 3 and also from 4 to the, to the uh, command prompt because of this and this notation here.